In your health news this morning, even with RSV and the flu looking to slow down, it's still a good idea to figure out how to deal with viruses if you get them. Sante's health expert Beth Coker is here with Dr. Michael Absalon talking specifically about RSV. RSV can be dangerous for some infants and young children. Each year in the United States, an estimated 80,000 children younger than five years old are hospitalized due to RSV infection. Dr. Absalon, what is RSV and what are the symptoms? RSV, um, or respiratory syncytial virus, it's one of the three major respiratory viruses that are going around our community and in fact, the whole country right now. In most of us uh, big people, it causes a nasty cold with a profuse runny nose that seems to go on for weeks. In older or immunocompromised adults and in infants as very young children, it can affect the airways of the lungs, causing wheezing, frequent cough, difficulty breathing. If a baby's spending a lot of time and energy just trying to breathe, they may not feed well. That leads to dehydration, lack of nutrition. They can appear lethargic. That can be pretty scary for parents or anyone to witness. Are there certain precautions that caregivers and parents can take with infants and young children? Yeah, the precautions uh, are similar to those that we've all become familiar with with the uh, COVID-19 pandemic. Avoid contact, if you can, with people that are obviously ill. Use good hand washing techniques. Avoid touching your nose and eyes. Wear a mask when you're in a situation or an environment where there might be people that are ill. If the illness does make it into your household, it can be really tough to avoid transmission. Do your best to keep affected people from vulnerable babies or older adults. Wash or wipe uh, common surfaces frequently. Is there a vaccine available yet for RSV prevention? Uh, not yet, but maybe soon. <laughs> There's a couple of vaccines that have been uh, studied and are under uh, review by the FDA. One of them, if approved, we would offer to pregnant women so that they can make antibodies uh, to pass on to their newborn babies for protection. Thank you so much. And for more information, you can visit health.asante.org.